Hello everyone. Why did we choose Luxor? We lived in Cairo for a few months, then one day we traveled to Luxor as tourists. There we found a city much smaller than Cairo. Cairo is a huge metropolis with nine and a half million people. Luxor only has 1.3 million people. Also, Luxor is divided into two banks by the very wide Nile River. So each bank only has over a half a million people. Luxor has wide paved streets with trees and shrubs on both sides of the road and in the median. Some of them are flowering. Plus the city keeps the street clean of trash. I can't say that about Cairo. Luxor is more quiet and laid back than Cairo. There are 15 million feral dogs in Cairo. They travel in packs and make a lot of noise when one pack encounters another, especially at night. In Luxor, I have ne never seen the feral dog packs. The dogs here belong to people. So when I hear a dog barking, it's just one. The water in Cairo ranges from normal to yellow with a bad smell, depending on your neighborhood. In Luxor, the water is drinkable by foreign tourists. Our hair is much softer now that we are showering in Luxor water. I saw my husband drink clear water out of the middle of the Nile River during a boat cruise, and he never got sick. I'm not that brave. There are frequent power outages in Cairo, lasting from 15 minutes to two hours, sometimes several times a day. We have had one power outage here in Luxor for under one minute. Cairo temperatures are 100 degrees every day in the nine month summers. Most homes do not have air conditioning or heat during the short winter. Last winter never went below 40 degrees. In Luxor, the temperatures are higher at 106 every day, but almost every home has air conditioning and heat. Personally, since I'm from Alaska, I schedule my outdoor activities at night or very early in the morning. It rained once in the months I lived in Cairo. I hear that Luxor can go two years without rain. Cairo has the three great pyramids and the Sphinx and the Antiquities Museum. They are a must-see. Luxor has 15 ancient Egyptian sites to visit. The Luxor Temple is in the city, across from the River Walk. Karnak Temple is just past the River Walk. Across the river on the west bank are the famous Valley of the Queens, Valley of the Kings, among many other famous sites. There are buses, river cruises on beautiful decorated motorboats and sailboats. There are large hotel ships that travel the Nile River and dock in Luxor. One can take a balloon ride to see the West Bank's ancient Egyptian sites. You can get around town in a horse and carriage if you like. For longer trips, one can take an air-conditioned motor coach or the train. The people on bo in both cities are friendly and kind. Cairo is more traditional in their attitudes. Luxor is very welcoming to tourists. Luxor is more of an international city with more relaxed attitudes. Crime in both cities are very low, nothing like American crime rates. A man or woman is safe going to the markets alone. They don't worry about purse snatching here. They even have a separate tourist police department. The fresh food stands and markets are not covered in dust like Cairo from their many dirt streets. Luxor is a 24-hour day city. Many other countries close in the evenings, like South Africa and Ecuador. Overall, I think Americans or anyone from the Western world would enjoy retiring in Luxor, Egypt. If you're interested in our services to assist your retirement here, please leave us a comment. I am Zin from Alaska. I want to help Americans on a fixed income retire in Egypt, starting at only 700 a month. I want to use what I've learned in the past year to help you. Stay tuned for more videos on this topic.